Hey guys, let's take a look at the new SoundSlice Core Chart feature. You probably already knew about the track controls, which is what you get when you click this over here, the, the name of your part or of your instrument. If I click that, I'll see a bunch of stuff that lets me customize the notation just for that instrument. So to get the chord chart, you want to hide everything but the chords. And in this case, I'm going to hide the standard notation by clicking this. And then I'm going to hide the tab because this particular score has tab. And I'll hide that by clicking this. And what remains is the chord chart. So I'll close those track controls. And look at this beautiful chord chart. So this is just like anything else on SoundSlice. You can hit play. You can click around to go to different parts of the music. You can slow it down. You can drag across it to make loopable areas. So if we just want to loop these four bars, or these two bars. We've put a lot of thought into the design of this. So you'll notice that the chord names are pretty big for easy readability. You'll notice that every bar has the same width. That's so that it's nice and even and easy to read. It also makes these patterns come out. Speaking of patterns, uh, we always have the same number of bars per line. And that number is going to depend on how wide your screen is and what device you're on. So if you're on a smaller device, it's going to change from maybe 4 to 2. Notice it didn't go to 3. It's always going to be a power of 2. So it's going to be 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, or 32. And that's because when you use a power of 2 like that, for, for most you know popular jazz, most Western music tunes, you'll detect some patterns in the chords just by looking at it at a glance. And here you can see, oh, wow, it's... You've got this A6-9, F-sharp minor 7, B minor 7, E9, always sort of happens around then. If you uh, decide to make the zoom level much smaller, then you'll see that we go from 2 to 4 bars per line to 8 bars per line. So you can play around with it and enjoy. If you're one of our partners who embed SoundSlice on your own website, you can change your embed to default to the core chart view. So here's the normal embed. If you want to default to the core chart view, you just turn off the staff and turn off the tab, if you have tab. And you just do that with show staff equals zero and show chords, sorry, show tab equals zero. Then your embed will by default just do the core chart. So it's good if you do jam tracks and stuff like that. Of course, your users can always go into the track controls and turn the other stuff back on if they want to. It's just a way of making the default stuff uh, be the core chart. 